Hello everybody, welcome to my Rebel first round Views playoffs match. in this stream are not supported <laughs> by the Rebel admin team. Thanks TLC. <laughs> um, right, versus some Skaven, uh, down TV, got lewd grip whip arm because uh, I've got, I haven't got a ball carrier and he's got like a wrestle, a wrestle stripper. Please don't do that Varney, thank you very much. Um, right, so... Yeah, you know, he's got a pretty ridiculous team. Strength 4 Claw Palmer, Strength 4 Mighty Tackle, Frenzy Jugs, a bunch of a natural one-turner and three other movement tens. Um, 14 players, and I have a sad shell of a team. So, yeah, it's just awful. And uh, So it's, it's, uh, it's fair to say that you're going to be going for kills here, yeah? <laughs> no, I'm not, I'm not clever enough for that. Right, uh, I'm going to get a babe as well. Fuck it, might as well. Right, this is Fault Force in the booth with me. Fault Force is going to do the commentary for me because uh, I'm going to try and concentrate. So I'm not going to listen to him or look at anything. Um, but he, hopefully he will entertain you while I'm having the game. So yes. goodbye. Thank you, Fault Force. You can take over. You're welcome. We're the precautionary two meters away, just so everybody understands of these uh, corona times. Got to be careful, ladies and gentlemen. So as we start at the match, picks up a babe, as we see. This is uh, going to be a bit of an interesting one. Let me load up my side as well, so we can watch Jimmy. Let's have a look. Gotta be careful not to get anything banned, as we know here. We absolutely love Rebel. Rebel is an absolutely lovely, lovely league. You guys should sign up to it if you enjoy schedules. Oh, yes. So we're basically going to go in. So we've essentially got Rats versus... Uh, Got some rats versus kill chaos. Well, I mean, what's left of kill chaos, right? Jimmy's team basically got destroyed, which was uh, so it was an interesting match. I think it was versus Sage. There picked off a couple of his a uh, couple of his really good members. Picks up the starter player as well. What's he going to go for? I assume he's going to go for the offense here, as you do. Oh, he's going to go in defense. He's not going to get the first hit on the rats. Not what I would have done, but hey. I'm probably wrong here, but I would have uh, gone and get as many hits as possible. Picks up the loot grip as well. You know. Needs a ball carrier. Has he got a ball carrier? It doesn't look like he has a ball carrier. Got a load of strength up, but no uh, no edge plus. So we've got Luke Grip as the ball carrier there. Setting up in the traditional anchor formation. Got a loner as well for this match. To be honest, I think my money's, uh, my money's on the rats as much as Jim doesn't like me saying that. But hey. See how the opponent sets up. Uh, is Luke Grip on the pitch? I don't know Killmatronics. He's on the bench, yeah. Don't know why he's on the bench. But hey. Maybe he wants to save him for his drive so he, uh, he doesn't get removed too quickly, which is a sensible option. Not what I would have done. But hey. You know. I'm not, uh, I'm not the 53rd best Revel coach. Unfortunately. Yeah, pretty much right. Arrested development. If only I was using rats. Jimmy sounds like he's doing something. No idea. He's probably gone for another quick tea in a wee. I assume he's, he's, you know, he's British. He likes English breakfast too, doesn't he? Gets a nice biscuit as well. And later on, he has some chicken broccoli and rice with a little bit of soy sauce, as we know from our Jimmy. Yeah, that's a, that's a nice amount of natural one-turners there, to be honest. To be honest, if I were if I were Jim here, which I'm not, you know, I'm not I'm not giving this as advice because you know I'm not a good uh, rebel coach nor am I a good blood ball coach. I would uh, I'd go for the kills here, to be brutally honest. 
but I think he's going to try and score a touchdown, or at least try and stop them from scoring a touchdown here. Denies them the one-turn opportunity with the uh, with the defense play here. I know that. What little blood bowl skill I do have. Is he here? He is. He goes for the kick. He gets extra reroll this half, which is uh, going to be proof quite easy. So he gets a really deep kick there. I mean, it's nice. Not going to do much of the scape and might delay them for a little bit or force them to roll, you know, an extra one plus. They get the hit on the LOS onto the, uh, onto the loner there. Doesn't break armor. Rolling all the sixes here. Gets a start off him as well. Va se prendre un coup dessus et en dessous de la ceinture. Ah, Skaven just get the ball the rest of the development and they run straight down the pitch. That's the way you're supposed to play Skaven, right? Especially when you've got a load of move 10. I mean, you could try and delay it, but to be honest, having that many move 10, I would just score as many times as quickly as possible and just save your apo for the gutter runners. You know. I mean, you're saying you're saying stall and remove, but you're, you know, you're trying to stall against chaos, kill chaos. Granted, they're not as bad as they were before, but you know. He's still got some claw pom in there. You know, it's still a nasty team to go up against. I just try and run away as much as possible and uh, score as many touchdowns as possible. But we'll see what Jim decides to do in this matchup. Probably going to put Ogata running down the field. Yeah, the claw is going to be absolutely devastating against the rats. All Jim needs here is a couple of good hits off, and uh, and it'll do quite well, to be honest with you. See what happens. Ghost of the Blitz on Volvedra. We've got a naked warrior there. He doesn't do anything with that one. Looks like he's probably going to try and delay it on the right hand side. Go for the pickup, surely he's got this. Looks quite interesting with this match though. I think Jim's best bet here is just to get as many tentacles in as possible and just try and smack them down as much as possible as well. I think that's what I'd do in this matchup. Why, hello? I go to the early foul. Go to the early foul on the naked warrior. Goes in with it. Doesn't achieve anything. Don't know why he particularly did that. Maybe it was a good strategy. Maybe it wasn't. I've got no idea. I'm shit at blood ball. But it looks like it was a good play at least. He goes in for the claw palm hit on this warrior with the gutter. Let's have a look. Got the second hit with flat fire on the frenzy. He gets the down. Doesn't roll it. Doesn't roll it. I mean, what versus AV7? You're looking at what? A 40% of removal with claw palm? Doesn't get it. Doesn't get it. What a shame. Absolute dicing here on the pitch today, ladies and gentlemen.
It doesn't get the dodge away. That nah, just chooses to uh, to hand it over there. To the Skaven player. Has it? It wouldn't surprise me if he goes for a touchdown here. I'm assuming he's not going to. He's just going to rat screen it off. Yeah. No, that seems... Uh... No, it's not a... of course it's not a dicing game. I'm just being facetious. And yeah, he has got a rep bench, so as much as he can get up on Jimmy here, the better. I mean, unless Jimmy chunks through, what, the entire bench of three? So with three rats, actually, a 40% removal on the claw palm, it's not particularly unlikely that he'll, uh, he'll chunk through that. But we'll see what happens. See how much attrition Jim takes in the, uh, in the retort to that as well. I mean, yeah, yeah, Jelly Deal. I mean, the skill choices are a little bit questionable, but at the end of the day, I like having a load of uh, a load of natural one turn, especially with move ten. Surely, because it means if you're uh, you either get cast or KO'd, you still got a few to uh, do it with. And I'm assuming this team literally just wins off the back of a uh, back of one turning. To be brutally honest, it's the way I'd see it at least. It's the only way I can see it happening. Yeah, it, it is absolutely disgusting for them, but that's uh, that's pretty hilarious, to be honest. I mean, is it the worst possible matchup imaginable? I still think Jim's in with a decent chance here. It really depends on how many removers he can get. I mean, after that game where he's... um. Where, where he basically got most of his team removed and uh, killed a few against Sage. I don't think it's nearly as good as it was before, but it's still a nasty team, especially for Rats to go up against. I really think it's going to come down to who gets the most removals first, to be brutally honest. I think that's what we're going to be looking at here. We'll see what happens, though. <laughs> Seems Jim gets outbassed by any team. Yeah, it does look like a, a little bit of a bad matchup there, yeah. I mean, as, uh, as BZL pointed out as well, having a, a load of strength for blitzers as well is, is a nasty, having the storm vermins there. That's, uh, that's a nasty thing to be playing against, to be honest. Fuck me, I don't know if I can handle four minute turns to fucking decide to put all your guys in and fucking foul someone. Jesus, fuck. Wow, welcome back. You are uh, you having fun waiting for him to run down the clock, eh? And just like that, Jimmy disappears once again. It is Jimmy. Jimmy's here, but he's uh, focusing on the game with this one. He goes in for the foul. The is it successful? Let's have a look. Sake. End the fucking turn, man! a KO on flat and fire. Wouldn't be surprised if Jimmy power up, is it here? Nope, let's flat fire go off. Probably the, uh, the correct play there. You know, not what I would have done. Not what I would have done, as we say here in Rebel. You know? And now it's Jimmy's turn. Go in for some punches. What well, he's got a couple of punches here. He's got yeah, he's got two punches and a blitz. Yeah, I know the rats have a claw palmer. It's probably good not to uh not to apple here. 
I would have power rapid because I'm an absolute shitter as a coach, but you know, to each their own. See what Jimmy does here. Goes in for the hit. Doesn't get it. Assumedly, he's going to fend away. Uh, I don't know, Jelly Deal. I think I think he's got a decent chance of winning this. To be honest, Jim does. As I said, I think it depends on uh, depends on what it comes down to with these blitzes and whether he gets removals on them. Like here, if he gets a good hit off on the storm vermin, doesn't follow it up. Yes, he do. Doesn't break armor. Not the uh, not the best there. He's also got a huge Netflix backlog, yeah. I wonder what Jimmy's watching on Netflix. Probably just watching Top Gun. Just uh just on replay on loop. But specifically just the uh the, the topless volleyball scene playing with the boys. Just on loop for a couple of hours. Yeah, exactly. I mean, the thing is, it's there's there's still a chance. Actually, the gutter runners could fail a couple of rolls. They could fail a couple of the GFIs, and they're running down the pitch. It really depends on how long Jim can stall this for. You know, it's not a guaranteed win, but it does look like it's heavily in the favour of the Skaven here. I think this guy, I read a guide about Skaven and it said you've got to stall the drive for as long as possible, but he, he didn't realise it meant turns and not just actual time. Oh, I see, I see. And that just makes it worse because it's four minute times, yeah? Poor guy. Thank God I've got Animal Crossing. That's all. I, that's all I can say. <laughs> so we just found out there that he's uh, indeed not watching uh, Top Gun on replays, as you think would go through Jimmy's mind in this instance like this. But he's playing Animal Crossing. Jesus Christ! Oh, and ladies and gentlemen, just continue. We are two minutes. And 30 seconds left on this turn. He's already spent a minute and a half, and we have no players moved. Oh, he's got up. He's thought about the blitz, and he goes for the hit, and he knocks him down. Oh, absolutely needed to spend a minute and a half on that. Doesn't follow it up. Doesn't break armor. Let's wait for the. Uh, let's wait another few minutes here for the next move. As we go on with this game, is he going to move the blitzer? Is he going to move the storm vermin? He moves it back. Oh, it only took him 15 Jesus seconds. This stream are not supported by the rebel admin team. Goes in for another <laughs> hit. Doesn't break the armor on that either. Possibly one of the slowest rebel games I've seen in a while. But, you know, it doesn't matter, as we've, uh, as we stated previously, the four-minute turns are there to be used. Some coaches choose not to use them, some coaches do choose to use them. Just important to know that we shouldn't be, uh, you know, we shouldn't be rude or derogatory to people who spend the entire four minutes basically doing nothing. End the turn, for fuck's sake! You know, or at least three minutes, End 30 seconds doing turn, nothing, man. and then do everything in 30 seconds. It's, uh, it's a really hard choice here, choosing where to move his gutter runners. Yeah. Takes him a good 30 seconds to think where he wants them to go. You know, do I want to base up here? Do I want to move up here? Nah, we'll just sit here and wait. He 
fails a dodge. Goes to the rear row. Oh, like fuck, he's gonna fail that. Is that his, uh. Is that his edge busted? That's no, not his edge busted storm vermin. Still makes it without any issue, though. Thinks about what he's gonna do with his last 30 seconds. Hello Imperator Augustus, it is I Fault Force providing absolutely thrilling commentary as this rep player decides he wants to spend 10 minutes running his gutter runners down the field. Looks like he's going to go for the stall in Jim's half with this one. He fails the pass. I think Jim possibly has an opening with a couple of the beast men to jump in and grab it here. He goes to the blitz on that gutter runner. Yeah, exactly. So this is actually interesting now. He, he does actually have a chance of recovering the ball and stopping this drive here. Seeing, uh, seeing what Jim does here. Let's have a look. Jim plays this correctly. Yes, yeah, essentially, did he took four minutes to uh, to decide that he wants to drop the ball in the middle of the pitch, didn't he? I mean, I think that's the problem with four minute turn series. He literally spent all this time doing nothing there. But you know, I'm not one to judge. See what Jim does. You go for a mark up. Views expressed in this stream are not supported by the Rebel admin team. See <laughs> what Jim does here. He's going to go for the hit. Only gets it's the push on that one. Not great. Is he going to go for the, uh, is he going to go and try and mark the ball with floor trap? He does. Moves into the tackle zone. Don't know if I would have done that. Maybe would have put it one space down. So, uh, so he's not in any tackle zones here. Just because that gutter runner does have wrestle. Oh. And he rolls skulls there. What an absolute shame. Gets the turnover. Gets a skull and it both down into re-roll. Both down. Both down. Not great there. May give the Skaven player an opening just to run away, to be honest. Looking at it, the Skaven player can essentially position himself outside of Jim's range there. Chuck him down the pitch. Only way to get to it is GFIs and dodges. Instant one in eighty one. If only. Forty seconds gone. Two pieces moved. Moves his third piece. As we can see that uh so we can see his speed has improved here dramatically as he tries to play this. Wouldn't surprise if he tries to push the uh, push into the ball here. And he chooses not to. Gets the hit, breaks the armor. That's a KO on Don't Call Me Kev. It's another one of his block guard pieces removed. Not great. 
chooses not to go for the Apo, as you do. Just a bit of a piss take, because as far as I'm aware, that's uh, that's not a claw piece, is it? No, he didn't hit. He didn't hit him out with a claw piece. That's just a straight up roll for that. Not very nice. I mean, luckily, both the removals that we have so far with Flat Fart and Kev, they're not uh, they're not injury rolls, so they could possibly come back. Jim gonna get two chances to bring him back here. So see what happens. As far as I'm aware, Jim did get a babe, didn't he? No, he did get a babe. So actually, the likelihood is they're going to come back off that. Breaks armor again. Goes in, gets another KO. Cool. Absolute Dyson. It's on a loner, though, so it doesn't really matter. But he's still a significant portion of players down. Still hasn't removed anything either. That's the really annoying thing. I think if Jim wants to stay in this game... He's, uh, he's basically just got to get a couple of removals very, very quickly. Go for the hit on the beast. He gets it. Armor breaks as well on the beast. Not a removal. Well, that's still got to hurt. Jesus Christ. That's, uh... That's pretty nasty, to be uh, brutally honest. He gets the pick up on the ball, just runs it away. Back into his own field, but Jesus Christ. Silver lining, though. Like, Dark Guy did only take two minutes to play his turn, so uh, we'll give him a, a little clap for that, ladies and gentlemen. But, uh... Jim's in a bit of a sorry state here, it looks like. See if he gets a hit up on it. He does. Oh, no instant removal on the lineman. Yeah, he is leaving the ball open, isn't he? I don't think Jim can go on the hit, though, for it. He chooses no, he could have gone. He chooses not to go on the hit for the ball, just choosing to try and do attrition. He gets an armor break off of it. Doesn't get a removal. Which is not great, especially with Claw. Goes for the Blitz. Oh, he is! I didn't see it there! He goes for the hit, gets him down, see what happens. He breaks armor. Oh, hits the ball carry down, which is right. Let's see where the ball goes. Ball scatters off the pitch, gets thrown in all the way at the back. That's actually not too bad. That's not a great scatter for, for either player, but that's definitely better for Jim than it is for anybody else. Dodges away. Gets it. This is actually looking quite good for uh, Jim here. He goes to the GFI. Gets the GFI. Will he go for the second and the pickup? He gets it. Oh, that's, uh, that's an absolutely oh, disgusting yeah. turn off. A disgusting oh, scatter God. there. Jim picking up the ball, going down the pitch oh. with it. Let's see, he's got the lime, he's got a couple of people in range that can go for it. A gutter runner's out of it. He's got a couple that can go down. One guy that can go for the hit with the lineman. It looks like he's gonna get it here. It's just absolutely banging on him here. Absolutely glorious. Jim truly is a lucker dog. Uh, it's me, sick as eggs. Full forces on commentary. Absolutely disgusting. Though we get some mark. So what does uh, what does Jim here do with his curse warrior? He just blitzes the uh, blitzes the lineman, runs it in. I'm assuming he doesn't do it. It is kebab force, yeah. See, I mean, the thing is, I don't know what Jim's going to do here. I don't know whether he goes for the stall on this. I don't know whether he just goes straight for it. I assume that he's not got enough warriors to get down there. His pieces are tied up. I assume he just runs it straight in after the blitz. To be brutally honest. It does give the uh, it does give the Skaven player, does give Tim Nielsen a, you know, a, a chance to score back here on the one turn as well as scoring back on a another side. But yeah, 
it does look like it's, uh, it's a good idea here. That's what I'm saying, Jelly Deals. He is going to score, isn't he? Doesn't look like he's not going to do it. Goes to the sack. Fails the sack. Is he going to re-roll off that? I think he has to re-roll off this. Doesn't go for the re-roll. Mark it up with two players. See what Jim oh, does mate, with this one. I don't one. take no fucking voids. What do you know about voids? What the fuck, mate? I think Jim just goes voids? straight for the dodge out here mate. after oh. taking a couple of... It's not really safe punches. I mean, he's got a reroll, but I wouldn't want to waste it on punches here. I just go straight for the dodge. I mean, this is the this is the toss-up. Does he go for the hits and try and get attrition? If he rolls double skulls and he, uh, he doesn't get those hits, or does he go straight for the dodge? It looks like he's going in for those hits. See what happens there. Still going for those hands. Hasn't had to spend the reroll. I'm assuming he just dodges away. Dodges onto the 24 mark and goes for a touchdown here. He's going to go for the hit. Gets the dodge away. Gets the touchdown. Absolute dicing from uh, from legendary Jim here. Very nice play. It's a very, very, very cheeky pal, yeah. But didn't get it. Didn't get it in the end. Nice scatter there. Well played by Jim, to be brutally honest. I mean, it was it was a lot of luck there. It was a little bit of luck, but it was also, and I, you know, it was also well played to capitalise it by where Jim did there. So actually, I thought it was all right. Not too bad. Jim going for the quick setup here. See what the Skaven player does. No, no luck. Only skill, Jelly Deal. Only skill. Jim making an absolutely going, legendary play. Oh, exactly. I mean, he left the ball open. It was his uh, his failure there. I mean, we did get a bit lucky with the scatter there, but actually, it was... Uh, so I can't say the Skaven play is bad. Sorry, it's not what I would have done. Yeah. Not, not what I would have done. Yeah. Yeah. That's all I can say. I mean, unfortunately, unfortunately for the Skaven player, he's no longer getting absolute god-tier hits off and uh, knocking Jim's players out. Jim did get one player back up. Didn't get flat far. Don't call me Kev up. He did get his rookie up, but, you know, still better than nothing. Yeah, ex exactly, dog. Exactly, dog. I mean, he did potato a bit. I don't think it was the correct play, but hey, there you go. But, I mean, at the end of the day, BZL, it is, uh, it is true to a certain extent. I mean, it depends on what way you look at Blood Bowl, to be honest. There's no objectively best way of doing things. Oh! You look at the way Dio plays, Dio oh, looks at a situation and has, you know, 30,000 options available oh. to him every single time, but, you know, it's the way it works. Exactly, he's scaven. He clicks on the ball, he runs it to the end zone. Still no removals on the part of Jim, yeah. See what happens. Has Jim got any, uh, has Jim got any piles on on the field? Doesn't look like he does. He hasn't got any piles on left, does he? He got both of his, uh, his claw palm is killed, didn't he? Which is an absolute shame, so he doesn't get the extra chance with the piles on. I mean, he's still got flat fire left, didn't he? But he got removed off the pitch. Not looking great. Ah, yeah. 
ramasser le ballon. Apparemment, c'est plus difficile qu'il n'y paraît. Is he going to run it down the field? Possibly. Cette fichue vermine est rapide, Jim. I know, he hates piling on. I mean, here's the thing. So the guy takes piling on on his storm vermin, right? He's got a claw palmer with strength up. So he's basically a chaos warrior, right? He's got tackle on it. He's basically a killer. And then he doesn't pile on on anything. So it doesn't make sense. I mean, it doesn't make sense to me, and I'm a shitter coach, you know. Goes in for the foul again. Doesn't get anything. I mean, to be fair, the fouls have been quite unfruitful for him as well, which is a good thing. See what Jim decides to do in retaliation. Goes in for the hit, gets a hit off on the gutter, he breaks armor, gets a KO on it, hopefully he doesn't get back up. <laughs> get off my fucking pitch, prick. <laughs> See what happens with that one. Why are you in the, why are you doing it here? What are you doing? Ah. Get fucked, you little cunt! <laughs> Fuck off! Views expressed in this stream are not supported by the Rebel Admin Team. <laughs> yeah, I do like how Jim, uh, <laughs> Jim bought Lou Grip there. For God knows what reason. We'll see. See what happens. Moves Luke right back up. See all the... Uh... I keep wanting to call him a goblin player, to be honest. But he's not a goblin player. His team name is uh, Goblins. Hey. Okay. Goes for the hit, gets the hit off, breaks armor, only a stun on that one, which is good. Nice to see. Yeah. Tens are okay with that one. <laughs> I think the Skaven look all right here, to be honest, dog. I think he's in a he's in a decent position with this. I mean, the other problem is that he keeps leaving his ball carrier open to get sacked every single turn. But we'll see if he learns from his mistake. It did basically cost him a uh, a touchdown there on his drive. Yeah. Apologies for the low level of commentary as well. I'm having to put some uh, rubber gloves on because I've got a Tesco water coming in a second. And you know, I don't want to catch that corona. As you do. 
get deliciously sick. Are you talking about wild animal really sucks? He hasn't even got a wild animal player on his team. Neither of them do. Or Zombane. The thing is, Jim had definitely had a better kill chaos team, but uh, you know when he went up against uh, when against Sage, he did get a bit robbed there and uh, lost two of his players. At the end of the day, so it wasn't great for him, was it? He lost uh, two of his claw pommers. So yeah. I did take the bait. You know, not maybe not everybody saw that match, you know? I mean, Jimmy was absolutely furious for a couple of days, wasn't he? He had to go for an extraordinary amount of uh, tea and wheeze, and we all know what that's code word for, don't we? So, uh, you know, he was a very angry boy. Ça cherche clairement le corps à corps. Skaven player still biding his time. Yeah, we're not allowed to say that word, uh, uh, Moridam, you know? I don't want to get Jimmy banned. I don't want to get Jimmy a strike from Redacted League, so I'm going to be as absolutely nice as I can when I talk about people, players, and coaches. Oh, he gets the reroll on the dodge. Has he got automatic, uh, dodge on? He does, he's got automatic <laughs> dodge. Well, that's an interesting one, isn't it? Wasn't expecting that. To the uphill, gets the double pals. Jesus Christ. Armor. He breaks armor against the KO on Murder Death Kill. <laughs> Fucking disgusting. Jesus Christ. I'm assuming Jim's not going to appo this. I maybe would have gone for the power appo considering how far he's down. You know, but Jesus Christ. Right, my uh, Tesco's order arrived, so uh, you're going to have to uh, quickly get along with uh, Jimmy commentating. I'll be back in a minute. Get off my fucking pitch, prick.
L'attaquant bénéficie de soutien. Le joueur trébuchant du terrain, il finira dans les tribunes. Et connaissant les fans de Blood Bowl, ce serait une très mauvaise idée pour lui. Magnifique offensive, touchdown Touchdown Juste avant la mi-temps avec ça Il a rien de pire pour vous casser les genoux Une égalisation sur le tard. Auront-ils assez de gaz pour tenter d'arracher la victoire On se remue L'une des deux équipes a déjà plusieurs joueurs KO Les deux équipes sont au coude à coude. Ce coup de pied est crucial. Du vent, pourriture démoniaque Quel est le problème, Bob oh, Une bouche de Nurgle dans mon café Views expressed in this stream are not supported by the Rebel Admin Team. <laughs> Herp, derp, base, base, just base. give her, just this give up a hit on my poor partner on turn eight for no this fucking reason. Bird. Get a blitz! <laughs> oh my fucking god! Probably could have got a hit with a tackler at, on the previous turn. But, uh. It was a bit. It needed pals that I ended up getting. But I didn't want to risk pals. I mm, don't know, maybe I should have still gone for it. End the turn for fuck's sake! End the fucking turn, man! Ce joueur va se prendre un coup dessus et en dessous de la ceinture. Les bonnes ont soif de sang et moi aussi. Allez, une dernière petite pichenette.
Yeah, but I get a player removed on my turn eight. That seems reasonable. Yeah, I would have got three dice with a tackler, wouldn't I? So I guess. And obviously put tents on the ball as well. So I guess I really should have gone for the, ta the tackler blitz. But then I wanted to have that if you fail the knockdown. I don't know. I need to give up a surf and a foul. I'm sure this will go brilliantly for me. Je crois qu'il y avait un joueur de Blood Bowl sous l'autre là. Pas d'adversaire à terre. Ça va faciliter le travail de l'équipe. Bravo! Brilliant. <laughs> I guess my dirty player is going to get sent off, right? Just to add to how fucking fantastic this has got. Oh, no, I'm going to fill a GFI with this dude. And he'll probably die. No, didn't. Outrageous. You're telling me there's a chance? Come on. Kill him. No. La boticaire va devoir sortir l'éponge magique cette fois. Le match est dans l'impasse. C'est ce coup de pied qui pourrait débloquer la situation, Bob. Tout juste, Jim. Il est temps qu'une des équipes se décide à prendre les rênes du match. I want to find everyone who plays Norse in real life and just beat them to within an inch of their fucking life. Ça, Bob, l'astrogranite est un composé de sable, de gravier, de poudre d'os et de crâne d'agent viré. Mmh, délicieusement craquant.
ballon par terre est un ballon dangereux. Il faut le récupérer et vite. Ce joueur, désolé de l'interruption. I apologize for your eyes still here, Jimmy. No worries, fault force. Sorry, my uh, Tesco <laughs> wanted decided it wanted to come almost an hour early. So, fun. We're on to the second half, so we managed to score the equaliser then, it seems. Okay. Yeah, I maybe did the wrong thing. But no nah, nah, it's never a, never a misplay, Jimmy. Never a misplay. You got flat fart back. You go for the pile on, though. Don't break arm, which is a little bit sad, but hey. Into the second half, Jimmy to punch on it. Nah, so Zombane, just so you're aware, uh, every Thursday at 8 o'clock, people go outside for a minute and they clap the NHS and all the key workers and people who are, uh, are doing their job. So I live in central, central London, right? Like two minutes from London Bridge and everybody's out with their Vuzu Velas and such, you know, cheering NHS stuff, which actually I think is an all right thing to do. It's not bad. Yeah. I mean, at the end of the day, they're doing it for a good reason. As long as they're social distancing, I don't see a problem with it. Yeah, exactly. Adhere to the two-meter rule, and uh, we're all good. I mean, I find it a bit odd, because they say two-meter, but... Uh, well, and six feet, isn't it? Two meters or six feet, but if you look at it, six feet is uh, two and a half meters. So which one are we supposed to follow? God knows, right? But hey, two meters is six foot six. Exactly. So it's a little bit more, isn't it? So why the fuck would people be uh, following which one? I don't know. Also, unfortunately, I just spilled a drink all over my very expensive mouse, so I'm just trying to clean it rapidly. Ah, it looks all right. Yeah. Avoiding people in general is a, uh, is a good, good one. Was it less than two meters? I thought it was more. Let's have a look. Two meters defeat. No. I have to say that, uh, officially, you are an idiot, Burner. An absolute idiot, because two meters is 6.5 foot. So, uh, politely, uh, STFU. So if we're supposed to be six foot away from people, they say two meters, but that's 1.8 meters, isn't it? Yeah, get fucking banged on, dickhead. Just once again, the, uh, views are not, not, uh, condoned by the, uh, the rebel team. Just so you're aware, these are my views. They may not see you as absolutely stupid, but I do. Supported by the rebel admin team. <laughs> Exactly. That is simply not true. The data does not support your assertion. Exactly. Silent Jim smile. Right, let's have a look. We've got Jim on turn 10. He's got the ball in Lude Grip's hands. You know, it might be a little bit oily because it's Lude Grip. Herp, herp. Base, you know, base, base. Oil the this ball up a bit, fail. run it down the pitch, we'll see what happens. <laughs> Skaven just walling off. Does he have a hit on one of the gutter runners with a... With a pom? Let's have a look. Doesn't look like he does, which is a shame. Let's have a look what he decides to do. Oh, he goes in for the hit. Gets a stun off on it, which isn't too bad. Let's 
Oh, he gets the injure off. Unfortunately, it's on a shitter lino, so it doesn't mean much, but it's a couple of SPP. Shkadenic, I'm right. Another entry, fucking hell. Is he going to apo that? I'm assuming he doesn't apo that. Get Does he power apo that? <laughs> it's not a permanent injury. No, he doesn't. Fucking hell, man. Jim here with the reversal. It's actually looking quite up here in his favor. See what happens. Is he going to move Luke Grip up? <laughs> Get off my fucking pitch. Bro. He does. <laughs> Caging it in the middle. Flat fart putting in work as he does. Gets the arm break off. Nothing out of it though, which is a bit of a shame. Fix your fucking game, Cyanide. Cyanide does need to fix Blood Bowl. It's not in a uh, not in a good state, is it? Jim in his playoff game. Let's see, the Skaven player's already raced in 20 seconds and nothing to show for it as of yet. Is he going to go for the Blitz? Oh, oh, he goes for it. Goes for the run out. It smacks him down. Nothing on the loner. Absolutely worthless. Jim actually looking in a decent position here, to be honest. I mean, if he gets a couple more... Uh, well, you got two Kazes, load of KOs, the Skaven player's down. All he needs to do is just run it down the pitch and, uh, and stall on the other end while punching as much as he can. Hello, Lean Gareth. How are you doing? It is I, the Mighty Fault Force. Oh, yes. Gonna try and gutter run a screen it off. Le moment de vérité. Yeah, he does. See what happens, goes for a hit on this. Time for nah, you can't time me out twice, minutes. Opt. Nah, nah, that's not how it works, dickhead. As much as you wish it was. Unfortunately, due to Twitch's shadow banning, no longer possible to time me out. So you're stuck with me. The big ham himself, yes. Yeah, the gutter runners are in a lot of trouble. I mean, it depends what he's based up. He's based them up with tentacles. So, I mean, at the end of the day, as long as he gets a couple hits off, he can potentially remove the gutter runners. So, yeah. Get the frenzy hit. Goes to the pile on here. Doesn't get a removal off it, which is a shame. I think he's essentially just got to try and keep that storm vermin pinned down for as long as possible and hopefully he doesn't get any removals left on him. Exactly, BZL, but it's still an issue. And it's also not just that. If you do ban an account for whatever reason, even temporarily, sometimes it just bans the IP and doesn't unban them. Even if it's only a temporary ban. So, uh, no, it is actually broken at the moment. Happy to link you to the documentation for that. But hey, back to Blood Bowl. Let's see. Oh, we got a level up as well. 
53rd best coach in Rebel gets a level up and see what he gets off that. Shut up and ban myself. If only I was an admin. Absolutely happy to, BZL. I'll send it to you after the game if you remind me. Minute in, still hasn't moved the piece. BZL versus full force fight. Oh, he misses the tentacle, dodge away. This is going to be an interesting one. So it's a guaranteed one hit on a gutter runner so far. Let's see if the others get away. Assumedly they do. I mean, they're edge forward dodge. Got a couple of hits so far. Yeah, it is. It is. You did. You did get fucked in the last Royal Rumble. BZL, didn't you? You know. And uh, it was it was looking uh, a little bit bad for Jim at the start here, but actually he's turned around. We've got quite a few Kaz off the back of this. And he's actually looking quite decent, to be honest. Goes for the hit with a gutter runner. Gets them both down. Absolutely dirty, Dino. He gets it as well. <coughs> Looks like a bit of a desperation play there, to be honest. I mean, can he go for the recovery? He's got a gutter runner there. I doubt he wants to pick it up in two tackle zones and dodge through a load of them. I wouldn't want to do that. But this guy, I think, is mad enough to do it. Good, okay, so Fell's second one against the tackle. That's good. Dodging into a tackle zone, not the best. He was actually going to go for it. I think he had to at that point, didn't he? I think Lou Grip just gets back up and, and, uh, and picks up the ball. Looking really good for Jimmy here, to be honest, compared to what it was at the start. Jimmy going to be banging on a gutter runner. Gets a push only, though. No frenzy on it. Still in range of tentacles, though. I mean, the dream here, obviously, the dream here is to kill that gutter runner, isn't it? He's got an apo, but you never know. Could fail. Gets the punch off. Gets an injury as well. Nice bit of free XP there. Removing his fend piece. <laughs> Get off my fucking pitch, prick. <laughs> Looking all right here for Jimmy, to be honest. Uh, how many gutter runners have sprints? Yeah, one of them's got one of them's a natural one turner. Has got sprint and sure feet. I think the other ones are just move ten. But yeah, they're, they're all move ten, which is absolutely insane to be brutally honest. You know, luckily for Jim, I mean his main killer storm vermin's out. He's got the other locked down as well, and there's another gutter runner that's currently out. So it's actually looking alright here. To be honest with Jim, he's got his uh, he's got his ball carrier gutter runner with big hand as well. I have no idea if it's overtime rules or not. I'm sure Jimmy can hear this and he'll uh, correct me if I'm wrong. I think it is. Yeah, Sug thinks it is as well. I assume it's overtime rules because it's playoffs. Yeah. I mean, I have no idea. I don't play Redacted League, so, you know. Kicker wins if no score. Gotcha. I assume that's why Jimmy, too, uh, Jimmy chose to kick there instead then. Yeah. Ah, uh, makes sense now then, makes sense. 
Yeah. I'll be overtime kicker. Uh, okay. Doesn't get the removal there with flat A Little bit disappointing. Goes for the run-up foul. With his dirty player, is he going to be a dirty Dino? Goes in with the assist. And... Oh, he gets a stun off of it. Not great, but there you go. Luckily, he doesn't get sent off either, which is nice. I don't think Jim has a bribe this game. I mean, what? They've been about five fouls this game as well. Nobody's been sent off. Man, you'd, uh, you'd assume somebody would get sent off by now. We are absolute dirty Dino. Let's have a look. He said he got a sack on the ball. No, he doesn't. He hasn't got a wrestle available either because he just stunned it. To be honest, it looks like he's just running his gutter runner away because he doesn't want to be hurt. Giving Jim potentially another hit on it as well. I'm assuming he's going to leave Bradless Chaos there in order to hit. Goes in for the blitz. Doesn't manage to connect it with, uh, with Murder Death Kill there. Goes in for the push. Yeah, it doesn't follow up. He gets to dodge away with that one as well. Can't decide where to put his getter runner, so needlessly wastes a load of uh, movement there. Pairs it up with his buddy. Both are going to get smacked. Back onto Jimmy's turn. Yeah, essentially, I think Jim's going to win the toss here. But I think, to be honest, I don't think Jim's going to let this go to overtime. Looking at it, he's got a uh, he's got a decent path through on the left. I think he just runs it down the fields and cages it. That's the thing. In my uh, non-expert Blood Bowl opinion, I give Jim a good chance to win this, probably around the 80% mark. And I ground that on absolutely no scientific basis. Um, yeah, we'll see what happens. Yeah, rats get the one turn attempt as well. Yeah, absolutely. I merely inferred the most likely scenario. But I mean, the other turn is with the one turn attempt. What? My own Does Jim just pile up on the line? I'm assuming Jim just piles up on the line with strength. He leaves his pieces back, but he strengths up the line, makes it more difficult, so he has to throw some uphills. To be honest, I think this is uh, this is in the bag for Jimmy, to be brutally honest. I, I agree with you, BCL. I mean, at the end of the day, what? He's got <laughs> he's got into the playoffs here. Uh, you know, my, my view, by the way, is not... Uh, not, not agreeing with the uh, Rebel team here, but I think he just got into the uh, playoffs, not because of skill, but because he, uh, he has 10 movement. So he's 4 movement 10, as you said. It's just like, oh! Oh, and he gets a kill. He gets a kill on the gutter, and he's got to Apo that. Let's see what the Apo does. Oh, that's nasty. Oh, oh, what's he got? He Apo's into a dead. Oh! <laughs> Oh. <laughs> oh, that's a, mm, that's a prime piece of Blood Bowl. <laughs> he re-rolls the Apo as well. He fails it. That's uh, that's nasty. Jim sitting there, as I'm assuming, in his little house up north, smiling his face off as he's killed a fucking rat. <laughs> Everybody's dead, Jim. Oh, fucking hell. Yeah. Oh, Thank you for the God. follow as well, Skybane. Oh, yeah. oh, he can't. They, they can't be happy with that. Tim Nielsen's not going to be happy with that one. I can tell you that for a fact. Yeah, rat kebab is definitely on the menu tonight. Fucking hell! Right, let's see what happens. He's got his one turner on the side as well. I don't think he's going to try and dodge it away. I think he's going to leave it on the floor. To be honest. Ding fucking dong. I mean, the thing is, even if he scores the uh, even if he scores the equaliser point here on the one turn, that's still got to fucking hurt, doesn't it? Absolutely hurt him. The absolute pain. 
Exactly. If he leaves it on the floor, it gets fouled. If he gets it up, I mean, he's against tackle. Likely, if he fails that, he's going to die regardless. Absolutely nasty there. Hopefully he gets rid of the other one turners, yeah. Skaven player wanting to go for a little bit of hatred back there, back on flat fart. Doesn't get it. As he should. I assume he's going to move the Storm Vermin back a little bit. No, he's leaving the Storm Vermin open for a punch. I mean, Jim's got, what, three turns to move it down the field here. It's still easily doable. Not looking good here at all, to be honest, for the uh, the Skaven coach. Yeah, not what I would have done. Oh, he gets his two head proc off twice, ten tools twice, doesn't manage to get it. He gets away, that's him out. Which is a bit of a shame. But hey, on the bright side, Brainless Chaos still gets a hit off on that lineman. Oh, fucking hell, Jim's going to chase him down then. Yeah, Jim's chasing him down. Alright, is he going to move in the hit and hit for that Storm Vermin? No, he's just going to base him up. He could dodge out and chase the one-turner. I don't know if I'd do it. I mean, he's got... He, he doesn't need to kill the one-turner here at the end of the day. And he's got... He's got a VGP running down the field. I think he just plays it safely here, and he goes to the uh, the one up. To be brutally honest, I wouldn't see him doing it any other way here, I would Jim? Oh yes, I just came. <laughs> Get off my oh, that's another one dead. Oh. <laughs> Fucking hell. Views expressed in this stream. Semen is ejaculating everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's already dead, Jim. Fucking hell. He's already dead. Don't don't do this to him. Oh. <laughs> The whole three strikes. Fucking hell. Man. Jimmy truly earning himself an extra piece of chicken with his chicken broccoli and rice tonight. Oh, fucking hell. Oh, he's still got the uh, still got the one turner in range of getting hit by uh, VGP. He's deciding not to base him up, which is not what I would have done. He needs to make a couple of GFIs and he hits him. Oh, he fails the dodge away as well. Is he going to re-roll it? No, he doesn't. Gets the turnover. I assume Jim just moves up the uh, the cage this turn, and then goes to the hit on that uh, natural one turner. I believe is the correct play. Now, I said I'm no Blood Bowl expert, but I think this is the correct play. The guy's got no rats in range that could possibly hurt him. It's looking pretty good for Jim here, to be honest. Base up a couple of rats. Yeah. Really not looking good for the Skaven player here. Jim not going in for the gym foul. He's going to go for that hit first. See what he does. Goes in for the hit. Gets the power down. Oh, another injury. Oh, the pain. No long-term effects, but still farms a bit of SPP there. <laughs> Nasty. Goes in for it, gets a GFI, doesn't get it there. Pushes him into the end zone. 
He's got the tackle on the ball, not tackle ball, tackle on him, which is nice. I don't think he's going to go for the hit. I think he's just going to run it into the end zone here on his next half. We'll see what Jim does. But this is, uh... oh, is he going to fail it? He gets tense. Not going to re-roll it. For fuck's sake, if only he failed the first one and got served. I know. Well, I don't think it's going to make much difference, is it? At the end of the day with Yeah, this. he's got a natural one-turner. <laughs> yeah. It is going to make a lot of difference. He can just win the toss and win. What, are you going to Are you going to go for the hit on the natural one-turner? Or are you going to... Uh, are you just going to score it in? Are you ready for the triple scale? Well, it's only... Yeah. Obviously, I'm going to fucking hit the natural one-turner. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> not what, not what I, not what I would have done. Planet, not what what planet done. would you not hit the natural one-turner? Ah, uh, the Death Zone Academy of Ball Protection. <laughs> on one fucking planet, would you not go for the fucking hit? The Listen, if you if you double skull it, I am gonna laugh at you so badly. Well, I would sorry, laugh if at you me triple skull it. it. Yeah, dri triple. Yeah. <laughs> if, you, if you triple skull it, I'm gonna laugh at you. I'm never gonna stop laughing. It will actually be, it'll need hexaskulls because I've rerolled. Hexas what's it. what's the uh, what's what's hexaskulls? Six in it. No, it's in. Oh, oh, you got chance. it anyway. Oh, what yeah. chance is it? Yeah. About forty-four thousand, I think. Like forty-four thousand. Fuck me. Oh, you don't break the armor on it, which is a shame. Yeah. Just run it in. <laughs> oh, you didn't do a little dance. You're being respectful, yeah. yeah. Six casters, right? Wow. Wasn't it? That's, that was a nasty game, Jim. Nasty fucking game. You hurt him badly. You still yeah, got the one turn. You still got the one turn, yeah. But I think that's uh, that's a re-roll, isn't it? Fuck me. Is that a re-roll on his team? No, I can just... I yeah, can no, I've you. got it. I, I, shut up. <laughs> I'll have to go. <laughs> yeah, Jim can't be seen to be taking advice from people, otherwise he's going to receive a strike, even if it is some CCL's worst coach, Fault Force himself. He's gonna sit there, play some more Animal Crossing, Animal Crossing as he uh, as he does unspeakable things to himself. Well, this microphone is deafened. He won't score the one turn. He won't score it. If he scores the one turn, I'm gonna be inordinately upset. You have no idea. He's not gonna score it. He's going to attempt it, and he's going to fail it. Upset enough to eat ass, yeah, exactly. I think Jimmy will be. Jimmy's spreading out the tackle here. He's only got one line through, which is a bit of a shame. See what he does. I don't think there's a way he can purely spread tackle on the line here. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see if he keeps one guy available for a blitz. I'm assuming he's not going to do it. I mean, the chance of a blitz are quite slim here. But we'll see what happens. So it's a 28 percent with reroll. Let's see what happens. Oh, he does have two heads, doesn't he? Look, I'm 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 not a good blood ball coach. All I see, right, is Skaven. They have a natural one turner. They click on the end of the pitch. That's all I see. I don't see dice. I just see him on the end of the pitch. But it's not going to happen. Because he's going to fail all of the rolls. Jim's setting up optimally here for as many tackle zones as possible. Getting as many tents or tackles in as he can. BZL with the advanced maths right there. No idea what it means. Right. BCL is our resident mathematician. What do you think the chances are? 
of him uh, of him getting this here. In your honest opinion. Jimmy taking the full four minutes, as we can see, in order to try and get it set up correctly. A whole four minutes. Instant setup. He does move the guy there as well for the uh, for the potential blitz. See what happens. Cheeky Rock would be good here as well. Yeah. See what happens. It is a nice setup, yeah. See what he does. Got Modus red cap, the gutter runner, off to the left behind Jimmy's chap. It's going to dump off from the second uh, second gutter runner. Hopefully Jim gets a uh, a nice kick off to the side, forced him to make a throw. He's got the reroll save for it, though. See what comes up. No changes, that's all right. Quite a shallow kick. Whoa, there's a chance! Oh, he fails it. See what happens here. He's going for the handoff. Gets the handoff. Come on. He's got a decent chance just running it down. He has to just run it straight down. Is it going to be an upset for our boy Jimmy? You are a lad, Jim. Oh, has he failed it? It looks like Fucking he's failed it. Glorious. Absolutely glorious. Ooh, that were glorious. Congratulations, Jimmy. Thank on you. your uh, absolutely dominant win there in that match. It was pretty glorious, wasn't it? Oh, yeah! Sure skill. Oh, God. Yeah, Nothing to do, do with luck. Two tackle or ten, so yeah, okay. Oh. That's why I wanted five tackles eventually, but obviously, uh, he gave me my third tentacles. Uh, what's he called? And three tentacles is still good against natural one turner. Yeah. Fucking double one on the winnings. Fuck me. Still better than nothing. <laughs> fucking double one. Oh, and then the fucking MVP on the loaner. Fuck me. You still won. You still won, Jimmy. I and you know, got level that's, up. that's probably... Like, this is still as bad as it can be after winning, isn't it? <laughs> I know. But have, have a look at your SPP. Have a look what you got. You've got a decent fucking amount of SPP. It's not too bad. Two, three, four... Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Glorious. So. No, I won't give in. I won't give in until I'm victorious. <laughs> thank you very much, Frost Lord. One Frost Lord on me. Thank you very much, Moradam. Thank you very much, everybody else. <laughs> Absolutely glorious. Still the Try worst that it could again. have been. Congrats, Jimbo. <laughs> thank you very much, Lord. <laughs> it is the worst that it could have been, but you got lucky there. It was good. I didn't really get lucky, no. Oh, you got lucky with the scatter. The in, in, fairness, lucky, yeah. in fairness, him though leaving that ball open there. <laughs> you, that could was, argue, uh... <laughs> you could argue that him playing terribly. I got lucky by him playing absolutely yeah. appallingly badly the... <laughs> for the first half. Look, <laughs> I'm 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 not a good coach, right? Even I could see that you don't leave your fucking ball you carrier open like that to a hit. It was you know what I mean? I know. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Not to be mean, but like he didn't protect the ball at all, and he basically did worse than just like Shawnee in a, in the one minute turns thing yeah. of the blitz pit. He did worse than just running out of time. He just did a he just did a pass at the like yeah. run forward and pass it. If he like he was if he just moved back a few squares or stayed where he was, he was safe. But oh, exactly. He just, he just gave us the ball, and then obviously I won in 81, so I couldn't get tents on the ball or anything, and then yeah. he still just gave me another chance, which I probably messed up. I probably should have gone for the tackle hit, uh, even if it would have taken a dodge. The tackle was probably higher odds. Yeah. but um, I mean, I mean, it's the rebel way of saying it. It's not what I would have done. <laughs> not what I would have done. Not, not saying it's a bad play, not saying he's a shitter, but it's not what I would have done. 
you know. <laughs> anyway, anyway, right. Thank you very much, everybody. Yeah, it was a weird, perfect defence. Uh, thank you for the commentary, Fault Force. Thanks for watching, everybody. Um, if you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic. <laughs>